Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your 17th C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial using XNA Game Studio 4.0. Uh, so uh, last tutorial I, I just made this and I forgot to put the bracks and the X and uh, semicolon. And for the case font, um, I'm not really not sure. Oh, the forgot the break. Okay, so um, if we continue, so what we're gonna do instead of adding in position, we're just gonna put in um the POS for uh, position over there. Okay, so uh, this should work fine. I I'm kind I kind of a weird feeling like I'm messing up something, but uh, we'll see when we actually run the program, right? Um, that's what it, it, error checking and debugging is for. Uh, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to have um. We're going to we're gonna have a, a for loop. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna update our we're gonna update it, but we gotta update our. Well, for now, since we only have one animation, then we could go with that one animation. But uh, later on, when we have more, then we got to uh, we gotta uh, change something. Anyways, what we're gonna do for now, we're just gonna have a for loop. Uh, no, do the animation. And a nested for loop. Better get used to these. We're gonna use a lot of these. Animation i dot count and j plus plus. So we're gonna say that if uh, item number is equal to i, then animation i j dot is active is equal to true. Else animation i j dot is active is equal to false. Okay. And then we're gonna say animation ij dot update. Okay, and for the draw, just have to have a, uh, for our, our animation account. And we have to have our nested uh, for loop. And uh, within there, we just say animation i j dot draw. Okay, uh, so we got we we got all that set up. So now uh, let us create um, our menu. So we're gonna copy the splash, and we're just gonna paste it in there, and just rename it to menus dot your file your file name. And what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna say uh, load identifier is going to be uh, for this one it's gonna be title okay so and I'll put end load equals equals title so within uh, this identifier and stuff uh, we we gotta load in a few stuff so we gotta load in our, our axis our position uh, we gotta load in our font what else gotta check our fonts and our source if we have any for now we don't have any source we're not loading in any images so we don't really need that uh, so where's uh oh oh man I changed the splash okay I gotta cut this cut these and put these in splash okay save that okay so this is our menu.cme so we got those three things we gotta load in so uh, for our axis, I'll make it two. For our position, I'll make it um, 200, 200. And I'll talk about position being centerized and stuff like that later. And for this, I'll call it uh, load a menu font. So let's go to the side over here. And we got to add in a font. A new item, a sprite font. And we'll call it menu font. And any font you want, um, I'm gonna the font I'm gonna use is Orbitron the font used on my website. So uh, 
we got our so that's our fonts and stuff loaded in okay so now I'm going to load in the menu item so I'm gonna say load equals item okay so uh, let's say new game uh, we're gonna have load game we'll have options and credits now there's still a lot we gotta add to the menu manager we gotta add in like the item type whether we're gonna be uh, transferring to another menu or to another screen or to a module or something and we need to have the menu link so we don't have those two things yet uh, but uh, we just want to get the base stuff down for the menu manager for the menu manager class uh, before we even continue that so we have our stuff loaded and um, everything uh, I believe should work correctly so if we go to our title screen uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create menu manager and in here we're going to say menu equals new menu manager and we're going to say menu dot load content uh, we have our content and our ID will be title And I'll say menu dot unload content. And let's see. Okay, so our update, our menu update is gonna be up here. So I'll say menu dot update. And for our draw, let's erase this, and we're gonna say menu uh, dot draw. Okay, so I believe there's gonna be some errors, but uh, let's see what we get. So it runs fine. So yeah, we're getting an error now. So it says object not set to a reference. So I guess I never said file manager equals to new file manager. So let's do that right now. So we'll say file manager is equal to new file manager. Oh, and one thing we forgot to do, we forgot to even put these private methods within our main method. So set menu items and set animations. So after this, we gotta call set menu items and then set animations. Make sure we do that. Fades out. Okay, so we're getting another uh, error right here. So dimensions, uh, what's not set to an object. So we're getting an error, but I'm not sure what the error is. So I don't know if it's for the dimensions. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's try and add uh, vector two zero to it. I don't know. I don't think I should be getting that error. It's probably because the menu image is how it's set to null. Yeah, so it's probably because the menu images are set to null. So uh, we can devise a workaround now, but just to get the, uh, we can devise a workaround later, but for now, just get it up and running since we only have text, then we'll only work with text for now. Uh, so we'll remove all this stuff. Okay, so it's removed. And let us try and run this one last time. Okay, so uh, object not set to reference. Okay, so let's see what's wrong. Okay, numerous problems. Uh, if we go to uh, menus, we didn't even add in an animation type. Uh, so we'll add in fade. And uh, back to our menu manager. Uh, we we want to say that if temp animation dot count is greater than zero then we add to it also uh, I don't yeah we don't even take in an animation right so we have to say case animation then we add that to animation types okay so let's run this Okay, uh, oh, break. OK, 
Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, I believe temp animation, I didn't even, let's just say temp animation, uh, equals new temp animation. And let's try and run this one again. Wow, errors are killing us right now. But that's what happens when you're making a game, you get a lot of errors. Okay, so uh, animation font was not found. Um, I don't even know where I'm getting this error from. But uh, I didn't even I didn't even change that this <coughs> this tutorial. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so we got our menu up and running. As you can see, it's fading in and out uh, like we expected to do. So we're gonna add in some input, and um, when it comes to positioning, a lot of uh, th there's a lot of things you can do. Like there's in my games. I spend a lot of times in the menu, right? But I know you guys are really antsy in getting into the gameplay itself. But a lot of times, people are going to want to have their menu to be centerized, right? Not just a random position, right? So I'll show you the calculations and how to set it, uh, make it centerized. Uh, so um, in the next tutorial. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye.